I am Colonel Retired Steve Lee, the Senior Vice President of KDVA. Today, we will cover these main topics. Go behind the scenes to hear how CFC leaders and the staff work together. Discuss the future of CFC, including relocations and realignments. What do we really need to understand about wartime operational control transition? What are the challenges ahead for CFC and how will CFC meet them? The sequence of events will be welcome remarks from General Retired Vincent Brooks, KDVA Chairman and President, and General Retired Jung Sung Joel, CUSEF President. Then keynote remarkers from the CFC Commander, General Paul LaCamera, and the CFC Deputy Commander, General Kim Sung Hyun. Then our moderator, Brigadier General Retired William King, will introduce our panelists and conduct a moderated discussion. Finally, we will open the floor for Q&A with our audience members. You can write questions at any time using the Q&A tab at the bottom of your screen. You can do this even before the Q&A session starts. Please keep the questions short and relevant to our discussion and address your answer to one of our panelists. This webinar will be available on the kdva.vet or VET digital library and the KDVA YouTube channel within one or two days. Now, ladies and gentlemen, General Brooks, sir. Okay, thanks, Steve Lee, and good morning, good evening, and uh, it's always some time of day like that at the opposite ends for the Korea-U.S. Alliance. I am uh, General Vincent Brooks, and I'm delighted to welcome all of you to this webinar to talk about the Republic of Korea-U.S. Combined Forces Command. Now, this is going to be a great event. There's no doubt about it. We're first very appreciative to have the participation of the current commander and deputy commander of the ROC U.S. Combined Forces Command. So General LaCamera and General Kim Sung Kim, thank you both for taking the time to do this in the midst of your busy schedule as you're conducting your mission of being ready to fight tonight. We certainly appreciate it and are always honored when we can have the leadership on in active participation. Uh, I, of course, it's it, appropriate for me to thank my, my partner in all that we undertake at KDVA, and that is the Korea U.S. Alliance Foundation, led by, by the president of that foundation, General Jung Sung Jo, a great teammate and partner who makes it possible for us to do what we do in Korea Defense Veterans Association. So thanks, General Jung, for being on tonight, as well as your continuous support. Uh, the panel list that we have tonight, this morning, however you wish to see it, uh, can bring an interesting perspective. So not only are we going to hear from the leadership itself, giving you insight into how the command is operating today, but you'll get some perspectives from different points of view about the Combined Forces Command. Uh, first, uh, I thank our moderator, Brigadier General William King, for, for doing this and for his active participation in the Korea Defense Veterans Association. But I, I, I want to say also that having on uh, General Che byung hyuk former deputy commander of the Iraq U.S. Combined Forces Command, now in retirement, his perspective as a deputy commander is a very important one. And what it looks like from the eyes of a Korean officer who has risen in the ranks inside of the CSC structure and ultimately to the deputy commander position in a critical period of time. Vice Admiral Brad Cooper who had previously served as the commander of Naval Forces Korea and the deputy of the Naval Component Command, but he now is commanding a fleet in Bahrain. So he's commander of Fifth Fleet and we're very proud to have him on here. And he gets the award for the most extraordinary time of the day. So it's 2.30 in the morning for him or 2.36 to be precise. And Admiral Cooper, we really appreciate you also actively participating. By the way, if you haven't seen his What I Learned in Korea video, Make sure you go to our digital library and take a look at uh, his insights and his lessons learned from his time in Korea. And then finally, Command Sergeant Major retired, Steve Payton. I was honored to have Steve Payton as my Command Sergeant Major for the entirety of my time in command in Korea. A great soldier, a great leader, and a great coalition team builder. Uh, some of the initiatives he had on bringing together both sides of the alliance were critically important to our successes then and the foundation that lasts to the current day. And he'll bring a perspective from what it looks like in the eyes of the enlisted soldier, the enlisted airman, enlisted sailor, enlisted Marine from the United States and the Republic of Korea 
in the Rock U.S. Combined Forces Command. And I appreciate you, Steve Payton, being on tonight. As, I, as has been mentioned, I won't take any of the thunder for the, the leaders of the, of the command, but CFC is now 43 years old, having been established way back when in 1978. Some of us remember those dates and some of us weren't born yet. But nevertheless, it was an important decision and it made it fundamentally unique in military commands around the world in that it is a standing binational command that is combined in its nature. This is not a coalition. This is not a periodic relationship of convenience. This is a standing binational command, and it is absolutely unique in the world. And it's an honor to have been a part of that. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy today's webinar. Again, I, I'm certain it's going to be a good one. We thank you for your support of the Korea Defense Veterans Association and the Korea U.S. Alliance Foundation, and especially for your support of the ROC U.S. Alliance. Together for the Alliance, Kachi Kachi Da. And I'll pass over to General Jung Sung Yo. Come sami da. General Jung, sir. Please unmute, sir. Oh, yes. Uh, good morning and good evening. And I welcome everybody in this net to join the uh, CFC, CFC webinar uh, co hosted by both KDVA and uh, KUSAF. Uh, General Brooks, you look so good with your CFC hat. And thank you for your leading role of KDBA uh, in organizing this webinar. General La Camera and General Kim, it's very good to see you, see both of you sitting shoulder to shoulder together. It's very good. And uh, thank both of you for accepting the keynote speeches in spite of your busy schedule. I'd also appreciate the uh, moderator's role by uh, General King and the participation as the uh, panelists by General Che byung Vice Admiral uh, Brad Cooper and Command Sergeant Major Payton, as well as the enthuse enthusiasm of the audiences. Uh, let me first congratulate the 41st birthday of CFC on 7th of November. CFC has conducted its role successfully since its founding uh, by preventing new Korean War. We have been so lucky to have this most effective and capable command in the world. I hope this success continues in the future. I believe there are some important things for the future success, which I will emphasize a couple of them. First, we should have agreed belief that the alliance is mutually beneficial to both countries. As the US supports the security of the Republic of Korea, the Republic of Korea should be able to support the national interests of United States. Second, both countries should cooperate more closely to solve the North Korean nuclear issue. We shall not give up the denuclearization of North Korea with the cooperation of the international community. However, we should put more emphasis on the deterrence so that North Korea cannot use its nuclear weapons. This may include more detailed planning and exercise, nuclear planning group, nuclear sharing, etc. Third, wartime Afghan transition is issue is very important. As both countries already agreed, we should follow the principle of the condition-based transition. The important factor is the objective evaluation of the conditions. There are some misunderstandings that IOC, FOC, or FMC of uh, new combined forces command are the sufficient conditions for the transition. It is not true. I have proposed to have the external evaluation team to have comprehensive and objective evaluation of conditions. 
Combined exercises and training are important to maintain the readiness and capabilities, as well as to show the commitment. We have too long time not to have national level CPX and the large scale FTXs. I hope to resume the UFT level CPX and the team spirit level uh, FTX. Rock government should put more efforts to set the condition for USFK to stably station and train in, train in Korea. This includes fed bases, live fire exercise sites, etc. I know that Rock Defense Minister So is making a lot of efforts. However, it can't be served by his effort alone. Rock side should make trans government efforts, including local government, as well as the uh, cooperation of National Assembly. CFC is the symbol of the Iraq and US alliance. I hope the CF CFC continues to evolve as the most effective and capable command. As a president of KUSAF, uh, KUSAF is willing to support CFC anytime. If there is anything that we can help, please do not hesitate to tell us. Once again, Welcome everybody, and thank you again for all of your supports to join this webinar. Thank you.